Mr. Chairman, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our forefathers and our fathers left us with a very vibrant fishery industry, which continues to provide an important source of employment and livelihood for millions of Ghanaians. The sector employs over 2.7 million, I mean statistics from the Ghana Statistics Service 2014, which represents 10% of the population as fishers, processors, boat owners, boat builders, and other ancillary jobs. Fish remains one of the country's most important non-traditional export commodity and valued at about 350 million US dollars a year. It also provides Ghana Ghana with over 60% of the protein requirements. It is worrisome to note that, in spite of the sacrifices of our fathers towards the preservation of marine sources, we continue to subject the sea to undue pressures from our thousands of fishing vessels. The Tuesday fishing holidays introduced by our forefathers to enable the sea to rest is also being disregarded. Through the support of the West African Regional Fisheries Program and the FAO, the Frigjot Nesson Survey was carried out in 2016 to assess Ghanaian's marine fish stocks. This survey revealed a high decline in the total estimated biomass for the small villages, particularly the sardines, as a result of the continuous use of the light and other unorthodox methods in fishing. As a key stakeholder, we are very much concerned about the extent of depletion of the fish stock as shown by the, by the draft that we have from the statistical service. From 2009 to 2016, to 2009, we had a, uh, a catch of 226,755 metric tons. It has gone down to 179,721 in 2016. As concerned Ghanaian stakeholders, let us pause and ask ourselves these pertinent questions. Are we happy about the declining fish catch? Is it surprising that we now have to spend long hours and days <coughs> as well as small foil on the sea to even get the current low catch? Where has our famed August bumper catches that always resulted in ab abundance of fish, such as herrings gone? Where is Loe Loe? We hardly hear of this. Where is the famous Irafwa? Are we not worried about the fact that we are now unable to get enough to feed the nation and have to resort to import importation of 50% of fish and fishery products? Are we now worried that in spite of the 50% shortfall in our domestic fish requirement, the use of light and chemicals is causing our fish to perish before they get to our markets, whose harvest losses are currently in the region of 37%. Constant decline in national output and dwindling stock levels of aquatic resources are we not worried that our, fish, our fisheries GDP contribution to the national economy is insignificant? Are the use of light, DDT and carbide, among others, among others the solution to, to, to raise the catch? After depleting our fish stocks, why are we trying to run away from the problem? Why can't we find the better way of addressing our challenges of low catch instead of resorting to the use of light and chemicals in fishing? Are we mindful of the health implications on our innocent consumers? Is the ordinary consumer of fish responsible for the dwindling catches for which we have to punish them by providing him or her with poisonous fish? From, from various parts of, 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 of the country, congregating at Ada area, who think they cannot survive without light fishing? On behalf of the Ghana National Fishermen Council, Greater Accra, we wish to sincerely apologize to the Honorable Minister and his entourage for the behavior of some of our fisher folks when she visited to inaugurate the watch volunteers. We want to reassure the people of Ghana and all fish consumers that we chief fishermen 
will do everything in our powers to make sure that we provide quality fish and not put lives into jeopardy by any self-seeking fisherman. We thank the majority of fishermen who have refrained from the use of light, cabot, DDT and other illegal methods in fishing and urge a few marine galamseers, permit my word, to refrain from the illegal fishing methods. We have a livelihood to secure and sustain for the future. We dare not put the lives of our current and future generations in danger. This industry was preserved and bestowed to us by our fathers. If they had indulged in the use of light and DDT, covered monofilament nets, small mesh size monofilament nets, among others, would we have any industry today? We have to commend our fish processors and traders who have refrained from buying illegal caught fish and continue to say no to bad fish. We urge fish processors, traders and consumers to continue to boycott fish caught with light DDT covered and other illegal methods. Additionally, we employ you, the public, to report any fisherman who sells to you fish with signs of being caught with any chemical or light. We urge the FEU to intensify patrol operations. We demand that you to seize canoes and use of light fishing in addition to the generators as enshrined in the Fisheries Act. We know this will be this will not be an easy tax. We therefore call on the media and civil society, including Christian, Christian Council, Catholic Bishops Conference, Pentecostal Council, Chief Imam's Office, Musica, film producers, to come on board and join forces in the minister's fight against illegal fishing. Can you imagine what will happen if there is no fish for, for the 10% of Ghanaian population engaged in the fisheries industry? Let us stand together in the cause of the fisheries.